All right, these are my vintage Transformers Dinobots Grimlock, Sludge, and Swoop. They're beating up. You know, they've seen better days, but I love these toys. Now, I used we used to have Slag, uh, but I don't know if we gave it away, if my mom gave it away somewhere. I couldn't find it anymore. But we never had Snarl. Kind of a frustration for me not having Snarl. Now, I've done a review of these figures, uh, I think a year ago. And I just reviewed the figures for what they are. But I thought I'd revisit these figures because I felt that I've, I haven't really done a proper discussion on which I thought was better. The old G1 Dinobots versus the more modern uh, generations Dinobots. So let's bring in the rest of the Dinobots from the Generations line. Here are the Generations Dinobots from the Power of the Primes line. We've got Soup. Uh... Sludge, Grimlock, Snarl, and Slug. I think he's called Slug now because they didn't get rights to Slag. So these are all looking absolutely gorgeous. I love, I only had praises uh, for the Combiners, uh, Power of the Primes, Dinobots. But when you look at it, I mean, given that this these are old, but assuming that I had brand new mint, in condition, mint condition, uh, G1 Dinobots, the house was on fire and I could only save one set of Dinobots, I would immediately grab the G1 Dinobots. These are now very rare and I say that in its truest sense because Takara Tomy had lost the original molds and as such Hasbro has been having a difficult time uh, trying to reproduce as an encore or reissue the Dinobots because they lost the molds, which is what century are they living, right? I mean, there's now technology to actually reproduce toys without the original molds. You could just reverse engineer a single toy like what you have. I'm sure they've got stock of the G1 toys. They could just copy it back and make new molds or something like that. There is technology to do that. I don't know why they're not doing that. But it, it's a shame. So that's why it's a little bit rare. And when it comes to the details, the way the toy is engineered, the, the heft of the toy, given that these have more playability, these have more articulation, they can combine. The old G1 Dinobots were really, in my opinion, one of the best G1 Generation 1 Transformers toys by far. The newer version of the Dinobots, the more modern version of the Dinobots, I think just pales in comparison uh, with uh, versus the old Generation 1 Dinobots because the old Generation Dinobots were really hefty. They were tough. They have a lot of die cast. They had a lot of chrome. Transformation was, was simple, but it wasn't as, but it wasn't too simple that it wasn't as involved uh, as some of the other G1 toys. Uh, they looked great in Dinobot form, in dinosaur form. They looked e they looked great even in robot mode. Yes, there was very little articulation to go about, but just having them on the shelves, they looked imposing. They looked great, um, and they looked regal. I I don't know what else to say. Uh, these other Dinobots, they felt. Well, you know, they felt like too much of a kiddie toy. Um, they, they, they felt that they were a step backward from being a collector toy. Um, not to put this line down, I love it. Uh, if you've seen my reviews, I had praises for these toys, but the old Generation 1 toys were really something you want to keep, you want to bring with you, you want to play along, because they were really, really, really tough. They were dinosaurs. They were... They weren't as fragile or as finicky or as findly as these new toys, all right? So I bet you want to see them transform. This is a Transformers review, so let's get them transformed. Let's start off with Swoop. He's got a broken nose. That's usually the first thing that goes. And these, if you notice, they've got wheels. As I guess Takara told me when they were designing these, not as Transformers, but as Diaclone, maybe they were thinking these were sort of dinosaur vehicles, that they would have wheels. You know, Transformers turned into in, into vehicles. I guess that was the whole idea of these toys. So even the dinosaurs, the Dinobots were vehicles. I thought that was pretty cool in a way. Okay, it's a little tight. As you can see, uh, the die cast is still there. It's not showing any sign of rust or anything like that. And look at that chrome. 
I mean, this this toy was with us since what, 1988 or 87, 33 years, 34 years or so. I mean, it it, it it's still here. It's not even brittle. It, it it it's not even cracking or anything like that. I love how toys were built back in the day, and you know, Swoop was my were my brother was my brother's favorite. Um, both of them, they <laughs> they really liked Swoop. In fact, we had two Swoops because my parents just didn't want them fighting over it. Uh, I I gave the other one to a buddy of mine. Uh, he's he's really into G one toys, and yeah, that's pretty cool. I lost all the weapons, the swords, and all and all that. Now Sludge was my favorite. Sludge was 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 uh, my youngest brother's Dinobot. I had Grimlock. And my, my brothers had Swoop and Slag and Sludge. So, yeah, it was, it was fun playing with them. I mean, we we always did the voices. Me, Grimlock, like Greg Berger's voice. You know, that was pretty cool. And Sludge, Sludge, I thought, had one of the best transformations um, out of all these Dinobots. I, I don't know why. And, and and I thought he looked great both in robot mode and in dinosaur mode. So, yep. See, it's not even cracking. Nothing broken. Look at that. It's pretty loose. Uh, I wish we could have taken more care of these toys, but yeah, man, we really played with these toys. He had, I think, the best rifle. He had that really long cannon, like, blaster. He had a great sword. And again, just going to the theme of these sort of dinosaur vehicles, there was a cockpit right there. So that was pretty cool. There's sludge. Limited articulation, but even so, I mean, look at that robot mode. It looks absolutely gorgeous, even to this day. Now on to the king of the Dinobots, Grimlock. So, transform him. Cringy. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Nothing broken. That's how tough these things were. Look at that gold chrome. Still hasn't faded as much. I mean, you know, you'd expect after all these years, 30 plus or so, you know, I think these these chrome uh, paint, vac metal paint apps would, would actually fade, but they're still there. Okay. Look at that. Die cast is still there. I mean, what else can you ask for? I lost all the weapons again. Grimlock had a great sword. I love it. He had a double barreled gun. I think it's still there somewhere, but I don't know. But all in all, I, you know, if, if Hasbro would somehow find a way to reissue these toys, some miracle, I would snap them up in a heartbeat because the knockoff versions of these toys, they're going for like what, two th for $200 or so, which is ridiculous. I mean, they're knockoffs, but they're, they cost as much, almost as much as the authentic ones. The authentic ones are going for about $400, $500 for the entire set. And man, if I had money back in the day, uh, my buddy who owns our toys, he was selling like a set of these uh, vintage toys. And they were still in pretty good shape. And they were going for like $500. And I was like, oh man, I wish I had that money. I would have gotten them. But anyway... Uh, they're great toys. I mean, if you still have your original vintage Generation 1 Dinobots, hang on to these to these guys because they're built tough. And it's they, they really cost so much now because there's no way of reissuing them at the moment. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed my little discussion of the original vintage G1 Dinobots versus the newer Generations Power of the Primes Dinobots. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think of these vintage toys or if you had these Dinobots when you were kids. As always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time on this channel, please subscribe. This has been my discussion of the Generation 1 Dinobots versus the Generations Power of the Primes Dinobots. Thanks for watching.